Hello and welcome back to Ajay Astromani Guru, your go-to source for the latest updates and advanced analysis on various commodities. Today we have two significant stories to cover. First, we'll dive into the world of crude oil where prices are sliding due to brewing tensions in the Middle East. And then we'll switch gears to discuss the impact of israel Hamas conflict on the gold market. Crude oil prices are making headlines once again as they slide in the early morning trade in Asia. This comes on the heels of Friday's gains. The cause of this uncertainty, the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict and the fear that it will escalate and impact global oil markets. Both brand futures and US WTI crude experienced slight losses today. Brand futures led by 34 cents while WTI crude dropped 41 cents but let's not forget that on friday these benchmarks rose by around six uh, percent according uh, recording their highest daily percentage gains since april it's important to note that while the conflict in the middle east hasn't significantly impacted global oil and gas supplies yet it poses one of the most significant geopolitical geopolitical risks of oil markets since Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year. Market participants are assessing what a wider conflict might imply for oil supplies from countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran and the UAE. (coughs) Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Net uh, has vowed to demolish Hamas and Iran has issued warnings about the situation potentially spiraling around out of control. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is is returning to Israel to discuss the situation further. Additionally, the U.S. recently imposed sanctions on owners of tankers carrying Russian oil priced above G7's price cap of $60 a barrel. This move aims to close loophole in the mechanism designed to punish Moscow for its invasion of Ukraine. Russia is one of the world's top crude exporters and the tighter U.S. scrutiny of its uh, shipments could curtail supply. Shifting our focus to the precious metal market, we see that gold prices are reacting to the escalating Israel-Hamas conflict. Gold often considered a safe haven investing during uncertain times recently hit its highest point since September 20, reaching $1934 per ounce. However, on Monday, we observed a slight pullback in gold prices. Spot gold fell by 0.5% to $1921 per ounce, while US gold futures dropped by 0.4% to $1934. U.S. President Joe Biden emphasized his belief in eliminating the Hamas militant group while advocating for the path to a Palestinian state. This stance reflects the growing geopolitical risk in financial markets. Investors are on edge waiting to see if the Israel-Hamas conflict draws in other countries, potentially driving up oil prices further and dealing a fresh blow to the global economy. Interestingly, COMEX gold speculators have increased their net short positions, indicating a certain level of uncertainty in the market. And on a regional level, the physical gold market in India has flipped to a discount due to a rebound in domestic prices, while premiums in China have retreated from recent highs. In the broader market, In the broader metal market, spot silver fell by 0.4% to $22.62 per ounce, platinum east 0.2% to $879, and palladium remained steady at $1,147.55. That wraps up today's update on the the commodities market. Remember, uh, we have recommended well in advance about the shooting up of the gold prices in our last week's episode. Hope you must be benefited from that episode. We'll continue to closely monitor these situations and provide you with the latest insights and advanced analysis on FJS to Money Guru. You can also subscribe to our paid services. Our contact details are given in the description as well as on the screen. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth uh, coverage of the ever-evolving world of commodities. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.